Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders, welcome back to my channel, this is Polo and today I thought that it would be just the time to review in detail this beautiful Ariel and Eric wedding doll set that the Disney store released about three years ago or so and I recently made a video in which I was like uh, comparing side to side most of the uh, different uh, takes that I mean, different brands have actually um, produced as uh, a bright Ariel. And um, I was lacking this version, though. Um, but I knew I needed a, a wedding, <laughs> Eric. So I finally got this one. And, and now I can review it. Um, I wasn't too keen on this one especially because, I mean, I wasn't too keen on the outfit for Ariel because of, like, the liberties that they took to just, like, um, create this sort of, like, tile uh, frontal panel that is not present at all um, in the original design. But now that I see it in person, I'm pretty surprised. I mean, it's a really beautiful, it's a really beautiful outfit, actually. So anyway, um, this is the box it came in. The box is super uh, beautiful as well because we have Eric's castle as a background. Uh, it's, I believe it's the same uh, drawing that we can get uh, as the background for the Ultimate Princess Celebration doll, um, even though that one is like a little bit more up to the corner. Uh, but anyway, here we have the castle the box is like uh, super nice to display them inside or take them off and then inside again and then another cute thing it was like this cake with Sebastian holding the figures on top it's unfortunately it's just the cutout but I think it's really cool that we still have that so that's that and uh, now moving to well actually uh, before I continue I wanted to show you that um, the artwork on the box here we can see let's see here we can see uh atlantica's um palace and um and then ariel and and eric and the kiss the girl moment uh part of your world ariel with flounder um then on the other side we can see this beautiful picture of them um as a uh, bride and groom, a uh, sketch of Ariel, the signature of Ariel, and then in the back um, we can see them waving um, after the wedding uh, ceremony uh, from the boat, from the ship. And then we have a sketch of Ariel and a little shell here. I mean, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's, it, it is beautiful um in a way and i think it's a really nice um display in case again um but moving to the dolls um i have things that i like and things that i don't like as much uh and i will be pointing them out i will start with eric i love the sculpt i mean i love the face uh, sculpt and the hair it's really nicely sculpted and in fact i don't know if you can notice but the individual there are individual streaks of her that have been um accentuated um i don't know um i can definitely see it it's very very subtle though and um his face is perfection really and expression and all that the outfit is pretty cool i mean it's close to the animation but I would have uh, loved uh, having at least just like bottom appliques or like jewels or something like it wouldn't have cost so much more to add that as opposed to just the print, which makes it seem so much cheaper than it is. Um, I mean, it isn't very cheap right now as it's not sold anymore. Um, by Disney store, so you have to rely on, you know, secondary market and all that. Uh, at the, at, when they were released, I think they weren't like so expensive though, but it, never mind. I mean, I think I would have appreciated that. Those little like um, thingies on top of the shoulders look pretty cool. I mean, we've experienced the ones with like uh, cord and material and in a way, I really don't mind because I think it looks pretty cool the way it is. Uh, the boots are cool, all that. The only thing, mainly the other complaint is that this um, 
male dolls have like very very limited articulation compared to like well for the playset of the kids the girl ariel and eric uh he's got incredible articulation and same with a few of other princes that have been released later like um flynn rider from the uh, designer folk tale or designer fairy tale the last one and he set it down he's actually having articulation on the wrist and the uh, ankle and the knee and the elbow but here it's just like i don't know it reminds me of the 90s cans <laughs> um 90s candles but um i mean this is more contemporary so i i really don't understand why the princess can actually have articulation on the elbow and wrist at least i think that will make a bit of a difference other than that um he's got uh very heavy soft uh legs i mean soft like bend and snap but the limited i mean the movement it's very very limited it's just like um that is what happens with the bend and snap that is just they cannot like sit down as such. It's just that they you can position it as if they were walking a little. Um, but other than that, he's beautiful. So I'm okay with that. And then moving to Ariel, I love this face. I really do. Uh, she has like super big eyes. It's more cartoonish uh, than other depictions of her. Uh, but I don't know. I just love this with those really big eyes. She's actually looking to the other side as um like the normal classic doll just now, I think. Um, and I very much like that. Another thing I like is that even though they took some liberty, of course, because like, okay, I'm going to show you this. In the animation, we seem to find like this sort of like tiara or crown uh, attached to the veil. And we don't really like, it's just like so vague. Of course, like this happens Um in the animation um so for the newer parks and the newer classic doll as bright they have given her the aurora uh tiara that's like more solid it's and it's quite possibly closer to to the one in the film uh but this one looks so much better much intricate it's actually golden chromatic golden in color as opposed to that plasticky gold color and it's a whole new design um that is pretty cool okay it's pretty cool i like it i mean it adds to the realism in a way it it makes it all feel much more luxurious um and then i also like the bouquet of flowers that was included in this set um that is actually made out of fabric all around uh well this little green bit, it's uh, plastic, but the flowers on their own are made out of fabric. And then the, um, well, haha, <laughs> it's beautiful. It doesn't have gel whatsoever. So it's incredibly soft and super full on the back. Uh, super nice. Um, and then the dress, at first I was thinking like, mm, not sure. Not sure about again, this kind of frontal panel around here. But then at the end of the day, yeah, I also like when they come with like new things. Um, so I don't hate it uh, right now that I have it here. But I have to mention that I'm a little bit disappointed that, um, yeah, I mean, the um, the frontal panel has just been stitched like this way. So it does, there's not even like two layers of it. And then this would be like an opening. It's uh, just one single layer with this put here like sewn. Uh, to these sides which makes it so much heavier on the front than on the back and that is a bit lame I would say um, I would have rather have at least two layers uh, or a little petticoat of tulle like really I wouldn't I'm not asking for a laced uh, petticoat or anything like that just tulle to keep it because in, inside of it we had a lot of paper um, but then when you take the paper it doesn't it doesn't have as much volume. Uh, one thing I like is that there's not as much glitter. Obviously, there is. There is glitter on the sleeves, the bodies, and these uh, little three triangles here. Um, and then the sleeves, I very much like because it's a sheer uh, meshy material uh, as opposed to just like the same material, which I think is what's going on right now with the, with the last version of it. Um, 
but having said that <laughs> i mean i like that i like that they've changed the material there another thing that is a bit disappointing if you are um i don't know if you just go to the back is that the um these little triangles um that um emerge from the bodies is well it's actually just one piece the whole outfit but it's just stop there and there's not like a, a a final one uh in the back which i think is a pity because for other versions that i reviewed like again recently the pattern was going all the way around uh but other than that it's cool then this one uh one thing i like very much is that she's wearing um heels so she has pointy feet and um yeah and those are just like classic white um heels from disney store and she has like the bent and snap knees as well so in terms of articulation cool um i think it's probably the same articulation as um the first designer dolls and and stuff and um it's a very very cool couple in my opinion um and i'm very happy with them um it's just that i just wanted to having reviewed the other ones very recently i wanted to point out what i like and what i don't like as much but in general i think it's a very very beautiful couple with very beautiful details um again the prices on the secondary market can be crazy sometimes but i would say wait uh first of all wait because there might be a, another person that might not try to 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 sell them for so much and also because maybe the Disney store will re-release them at some point um, they actually released four couples and I'm going to review all of them actually this is the first one I'm reviewing next is going to be Cinderella and Prince Charming and then followed by Rapunzel and Flynn Rider and then I will make a comparison of those with the uh, Mattel version uh, of it uh, of the wedding set and then Tiana and Naveen and that makes total sense because the Disney store has uh, released uh, wedding doll sets in the past before as for Belle and um, also like wardrobe um, for Snow White and, and more uh, but then the only two characters that I mean the only princesses um, that we see getting married in the film are these four I think that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. As, as, as seeing them in their, you know, in their wedding, um, outfit and attire and all that. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also stay tuned, uh, for my future videos, because as I said, I have so much more to share and I'm super happy <laughs> doing it, um, and sharing all these collectibles with you. For now, I hope you all stay safe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye.